All right, so in the last video, we took a look at how we can pick our raw materials for our production order. So how, when we release our production order, how we can have a worker go out and pick the raw materials and bring them back to the production floor so that those materials can be um, consumed on the production order. In this week's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at how we can start and how we can stop a production order. Setup for this is pretty simple and the execution on this is pretty simple. Um, I suspect you'd use this where you have a fairly simple uh, production execution, fairly simple bombs, fairly simple production orders. You're probably not gonna use this on very complex production orders, but it's still handy to use. Okay, so first thing we're gonna take a look at is at the setup on this. The setup is very simple for this. Um, all, all the work is on the, uh, on the raw material picking setup, but the, uh, the setup for the, for the start and stopping of the production order is, is only menu controlled. So I'm gonna go underneath warehouse management and then mobile device menu items. And um, so let's go ahead and look at the first menu I set up was uh, a production start. And when you're setting up this mobile device menu item, the, the mode is indirect because we're not generating work. And then the activity code is start production order. So this really that's, that's the only setup that you need to do on the production start mobile device menu. Now on the uh, production, the report is finished one similar setup. Um, if we go and take a look at this menu item, I've got production report is finished. Uh, we have the work creation process report is finished. And I'll show you my, my output location in just a second, but it needs a, needs a, a license plate on it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and generate license plate from here. Now there is another, um, another REF, which is an REF uh, report is finished and put away. Let me edit this real quick. And I'll show you that in the next video when we're, when we're doing the put away steps, but um, we're gonna do just re report is finished this time, but there is an option for report is finished is, and put away if you don't wanna do that all in one step there, okay? Just wanted to point that out. All right, so on our output location, so let's go underneath warehouse management again, and we'll go underneath warehouses and warehouses, and we're gonna use warehouse 24 like we did last time and we're going to go into warehouse 24 and where i have these output locations set is this default production uh, finished goods location now again normally on the on the route the route group you can set up the output location but on, in this case on my my item i don't have a route because i'm just trying to keep it super simple so it's going to fall back to the warehouse here and we'll see it it's just going to put everything into the production output location here okay so if we go back into our production orders now, so let's go into uh, production control and all production orders. I've got an order here that we, we used last time, which was this P00220, and it's in a release status. We've, we've basically, we've released it, we've picked the material like we did last time. So now let's go ahead and start this production order. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just copy that value there so I have it and we'll go over into the mobile device. Now from the mobile device, I've got a production uh, section here, and here's my production start and report is finished menu, so I'm gonna go ahead and the production start. Pretty simple here, it's uh, like you would suspect, we're gonna just put in our P000220, and we'll hit our okay button, and it's gonna ask us to start how many we're starting. I've only got one on this production order here, so I'm only gonna start one, but you have the option of choosing how many you're gonna start. And we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And everything succeeded, so we're just gonna, we should have our production order started. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the screen here and we'll see that it's started, all right? So now once we've uh, started our production order, we're ready to finish it. We can go into the other menu here. So let's go ahead and hit cancel out of that. We're gonna go ahead and go into the report is finished. And we're gonna start with our production order, our P000220. Hit enter here. And then it's gonna ask us how many reporting is finished. I'm gonna go ahead and, and check one there. And then this next value, I didn't mention this earlier. Let me, let me do this real quick and, and flip over to a screen. I forgot to mention this earlier when we're talking about the setup. So under the mobile device menu, there's a kind of important setup I think we need to take a look at, which is, uh, so we're gonna go back into warehouse management. We're gonna go into the mobile device menu items. And I'm gonna do the, go look at that production finish or production RF. Um, we talked about the fin generate license plate, but this allow ending of production order. So what this allow ending of production order does is it has this 
menu here that's end job, yes or no, right? So it gives the user the option to either end it or not. So if you're if you're doing a, a partial report is finished, you can you can report a few and not end it, and um, and report some more. For example, if you if you leave that at no, if you leave it at yes, it's going to re report the whole job or the whole uh, production order is finished. Now, without this item here checked, it's going. It basically doesn't give the user the option. So the user can report is finished, and it, you know that question won't come up. It won't change the status of the production order is finished. That what would be done manually. Uh, I suspect this is generally done uh, when uh, if you've got a manager, for example, that wants to review the production order before it's actually uh, before it's actually marked report is finished. So in our case, we're going to go ahead and say in job yes. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. And we'll let that finish and that is completed. Uh, so then if we go back to our, our production order, we'll refresh the screen and notice it's, it's reported finished. Now, if we left this at no, it would it would not have changed the status. We could continue to, to do uh, additional reports as finished as, as needed. This video is a, is a series of videos that I'm doing on the production order and advanced warehouse and how those two can work together. This is the second video in the series. I'm linking the playlist to the other videos here. So if you're watching this in the future, you'll be able to reference all the other videos. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this series and you're learning. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching.